Corona motivates facing new normal. Thank you very much for those who are joining us today. And thank you, first of all, to our guest, T. Dalera. I'm going to give a little bit of introduction myself and then she'll talk to us. But we all must know that she is a certified health and wellness coach, a nutracitalist, certified in plant-based nutrition and urban gardener. So she's going to explain what it means. Her passion and her mission is to transfer as many as many as lives as possible with the power of nutrition, natural products and wellness, travel and all natural sustainability. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, uh, having her family member die from a preventable disease fueled her passion to help many people this way. And with the world being filled with preventable diseases, sickness and obesity, she feels that we all can heal ourselves through plant-based nutrition. So that's what she's going to talk mostly about. Uh, she lives her life to educate and inspire healthy living around the world, encouraging people to take health back uh, with one single change at a time. These natural wellness and travel create workshops events, retreats, and programs to bring awareness on the health crisis among, uh, among us. Giving simple solutions to help families heal their bodies from inside out and have the lifestyle they always dreamed of. That's what she does. So she's helping us live longer, prevent diseases, and have a great quality of life. So here again, I'm welcoming our renowned guest, T, today. And uh, <laughs> Before we start, I have to say this, that whatever Sona Motivates have done so far or whatever I'm doing live on camera, the inspiration is tea. Anyway, enough about me. Let's jump on to talk about tea and uh, let's welcome her. And T, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much, Sonali, for inviting me. Um, and thank you for that great introduction. So welcoming and warming. And yes, girl, you are doing an amazing job. I'm so super, super proud of you for you to be one of my sisters. Woo! I'm so excited <laughs> about that. Yes. Um, everybody, I'm so happy that you guys are here enjoying this with us. Um, yes, I am T, T's Natural Wellness and Travel. And as Sonali has mentioned, I am a certified health and wellness coach, and I am a nutraceuticalist. A lot of people don't know what that is, but it is actually um, healing with natural products like food, vegetables, spices, and uh, herbs. <laughs> <laughs> herbs, the um, things that God has given us, you know, the creator has given us everything that we need. And that's what um, a nutraceutical actually use to heal our bodies. Basically what we actually used to do before, right? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. No wonder you got so intrigued by the knowledge of the spices and to know about Yes, it. yes, yes. And when you mentioned it, I was like, oh my gosh, you got to tell the world. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So not only I do that, I am a health, uh, I am an um, urban gardener as well. And by being an urban gardener, we grow our own foods, we grow our own herbs, we grow our own spices. So um, we want everything to be organic and everything to be natural. And of course, I always encourage people to have natural products. Yes. Okay, cool. So it was a great introduction. Again, welcome. And first one for most important. So now Motivates is all about passion. And I, I believe that that's what keeps us going because we all can have jobs and we all can have businesses. But if we are not passionate about what we do, then nothing seems uh, whole or complete. So tell mm -hmm. us, what are you passionate about? Oh my gosh. My passion is endless when it comes to um, nutrition and wellness, but my main passion is I am on a mission. I want to inspire people to live better. My mission is to transform as many lives as possible, as many families, individuals, children with the power of nutrition, because with the power of nutrition, just like Hippocrates says, Food is our medicine, and that is what I'm living for. I'm sure you're doing it. So you are you are pretty much multi-passionate person like us, most of all those who came here on the show, because we all believe in helping people in their own different ways. Um, and there are so many, there is not one rule fits all. There are so many different mm -hmm. ways. And uh, it, sometimes one thing applies to, to one person, but it won't help others. So we have to figure out how we can help as many people possible. Now tell yes. us that what are you 
uh, what are you going to do or what are you doing differently in these changing times because this covid thing it it has changed so many lives in different ways and it's uh, it's little harder yesterday itself i was talking to one of my friend and she was uh, explaining it's kind of getting monotonous it's the same thing we wake up we do the same thing and Mm -hmm. even if we used to crib a little bit about this fact that socializing sometimes was killing us we were too busy but of course we all have to understand that we humans are social animal and we we do like to meet people we do like right. to have good times with our friends and families and of course it's bit becoming very very uh, tricky these days because uh, because of the mask and it's i don't know it's not the same so in these changing times what are you doing differently to keep yourself fit happy uh, and how can you help our viewers yes what i've done differently is i've taken um a good look at myself for one um, and I've pumped up my fitness level, um, whereas things that I wasn't doing, like I would run like a mile, that was good, but no, uh -uh. it's not enough anymore. I want to do at least three to five miles every single day running, wow. and I'm doing strength training as well. So these are the things that I'm doing for myself. Oh my God, that's such a great idea. I like it. You are a true inspiration. That's awesome. That's really good. Very nice. I know you, you are like that. You, your energy is very addictive. You just get into it. <laughs> I know you are like that. Okay, that's a good one. Now, being an um, experienced health coach, um, of course, mm -hmm. you, you told about how you are working on your fitness level, levels, uh, high high hiking them in different way. But what is your expert advice um, for our people who wants to get healthier? One is to change their game in fitness, do different things. And uh, what, what, as a health coach, what would you suggest? I am encouraging everyone to increase their ability to eat more fruits and vegetables, to be more sustainable. Um, it's really hard right now for you to get organic produce or you go to the grocery store and they limit you from buying different type of products. But we have to actually be logical about it and think that, you know what, we have to think of what's happening. So we have to stay focused on what's gonna be happening sooner, you know, in the future. So for us to do that, we have to make sure that our bodies is taken care of. And as women, we have to take care of our own selves before we can take care of anyone else. And as, you know, as parents or as, as, as adults, period, our children are our future. So with that being said, we have to take uh, accountability and responsibility for our own health, right? Mm -hmm. So as a certified health coach, my advice to everybody is to take accountability and responsibility for your own health. And the only thing that can actually heal our bodies is fruits and vegetables. And I advise everybody to increase that, you know? So if you're gonna have, you know, say, um, let's think of a different, um, uh, chayote, okay? Mm -hmm. Most people don't know what it is. I mean, they don't, they don't know what it is and you pass it by, but so don't be scared. Be brave. Try a new vegetable or fruit or whatever, at least once a week. If you're in the grocery store, why not? That's, That's my advice. That's a very beautiful advice. And I have been through this, this, what you just told, there are so many stories about me because I go to this local farmer's market and all it, this happens with me all the time because we do get very ethnic Indian and Asian vegetables. Okay. So, I mean, you don't, I mean, it's, it's amazing. It's really limitless. Just like you said, exactly. it's limitless. We can experience. I still remember the day when we met, we, we talked about the pickles, right? Uh, we talked oh, the mango pickled mango. <laughs> Oh, that was so good. <laughs> no, I'm good. That's what I wanted to add. I, I recently I made a pickle with uh, with the turmeric, uh, with the with the raw uh, turmeric, the the ones uh -huh. like which looks like ginger. So we yes. I just mixed it with just grated with ginger and the turmeric, and then we added the mustard oil and everything. So I'm just uh, I wanted to tell you about that too. I'm going to add a video about it soon on the social media. But that's the most healing and immunity boosting as well. And I'm sure you know more about it. And uh, before leaving, because there is uh, still a little time, I would like to ask what's back there because I see some uh, some of the vitamins there uh, on, this, yeah. the, on the showcase and also the green stuff right here. I don't know what it is. Would you like to explain a little bit about it? I would love to. Um, being a health coach, it's really hard to get people to eat fruits and vegetables because when you flood your body with certain things, 
you crave those things. So say you're eating hamburgers every single day, you're gonna crave hamburgers every single day. You're gonna crave that junk food because that's what you're fueling your body with. But when you flood your body with fruits and vegetables, you start to crave fruits and vegetables and people are unaware. So you fuel your body with what you actually wanna eat. So I found a company that would help me with that because it's hard for people to switch off and go cold turkey from eating junk food and going back to fruits to going to fruits and vegetables, which is helping their body get healed. So what's behind me here is actually, let me show you. Juice Plus is a company that I partnered with. And what it is, is fruits and vegetables in a capsule form. What it does is they have concentrated fruits and vegetables. They had dehydrated them and they have kept the enzymes because they slowly dehydrate them. And they took out the water, the salt and the sugar and they have put them in a capsule form. And this is the fruits, this is the vegetable, this is the berries, and these are the plant-based omegas. Can you see that? Isn't that cool? Oh, yeah. Plant-based omegas. So they have skipped the middleman with these omegas. It took them many years to actually do this. But uh -huh. how does the fish get the omegas? By the plants, right? Yeah. So why are we killing the fish to get fish, you know, fish oil yeah. when we just need to go to the source. And this not only has omega-3s in it, it has all of them. So you have all five of the omegas. So you have three, five, six, seven, and nine omegas in just this oh, form, okay. which okay. is excellent. Uh -huh. And what it does is this floods your body with fruits and vegetables. And guess what? You start craving fruits and vegetables, okay? Uh -huh. So once you start craving fruits and vegetables, your body changes because your, you start eating different things. Like there's a quick story that I'm gonna mention is about picky eaters. You know, children are very picky eaters mm -hmm. and you can't get them to eat something they don't want to. Adult will try it, but a child, mm -mm, they're not gonna do it, right? Okay. But when you start giving them fruits and vegetables in a caps or in a chewable form because they make it in chewable form and they actually get it for free. With uh -huh. Juice Plus, they supply it to the child for free they start craving. So there's one lady who has a picky eater and he wouldn't eat anything. All of a sudden, just in a month's time, she started giving him juice plus and he's picking broccoli off of her plate. Wow. He's eating cabbage. And this is not something that he's ever eaten, but because his body is craving it, he wants it. So for all our picky eaters, we have children that don't want to eat or we have husbands that just don't will not touch a vegetable right uh, uh -huh. but when you give this to them uh -huh. they start craving it and then this is over 30 plus fruits and vegetables into their daily diet every single day Whoa. the only thing that can heal our bodies is what fruits and vegetables fruits and right vegetables, absolutely yeah i have actually two quick questions here because, sure. because i'm sure a lot of yours must be thinking about it How after dehydrating uh, the fruits and vegetables, the nutrition is still intact, right? Do you think so? They must have researched right. not finding it that the nutrition is in, intact, but the moisture or water content is reduced. Exactly. So what they do, they dehydrate it just like we would actually do in our homes. Uh -huh. But they have these big powered um, machines uh -huh. that have dehydrated it and kept the enzymes of the fruits and vegetables. Whereas we're going to get all that nutrition inside of our body still. And we have packed my research. We have over 40 plus research and journals. I mean, if you ask your phone and you say, hey, Siri, what's the most researched product in the world? It's going to tell you Juice Plus. I have still one more question. So you just sure. mentioned, a, uh, yeah, that's the, it looks pretty green. <laughs> yeah, because this is, this is um, your vegetable. And okay. even if you eat this capsule just like this, mm -hmm. it tastes green because that's what it is. Okay. Yeah. That's nice. So uh, uh, I, you said that the kids, uh, you can give those to the kids. I, I don't know, personally, I never gave my kids uh, uh, vitamin supplements as such because, uh, you know, being a very holistic and, and natural eater, I would rather give them smoothies and make lots of veggies and stuff like that. So right. of course, my kids are grown up now, but still, you know, I, would, I haven't started it. I don't mind now, but I would like to ask how safe is this for kids to start or what is the right age for kids to have vitamin supplements? They are, well, vitamin supplements, I don't agree with just like you. I do not agree with anything synthetic. Okay. Nothing synthetic should actually enter the body because all it is makes expensive pee. It does not get into our bloodstream. Fruits yeah. and vegetables is the only thing that our body can absorb fully and give us a full amount of nutrients. 
So you can start, like if you start a child on set six months, you start them on solid foods, that's the same thing. You can sprinkle the capsule on their food that you're giving them, or you can just sprinkle it into their mouths for the capsule form. When they get a little bigger, they do make these in chewable forms and the children gets it for free, which is amazing. They get it for free. So, so you're talking four, about only Juice Plus, right? Not any other capsules or something like that. Only No, about this is... This is Juice Plus. Juice Plus comes in capsule or chewable form, like a little gummy. Mm -hmm. So the gummies, we actually make it for the children, but elderly people is great for them too, because they can just, you know, pop them. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> right. But only Juice Plus actually makes this. Um, there's a lot of knockoffs, but our company, we have our own farmers. They're all organic farmers and they've been dealing with Juice Plus for many years. This company has been in business for over 50 years with the health and wellness industry. Okay. And people have been taking Juice Plus and the result is amazing. Like for myself, I'll tell you quickly my story on what happened with me. Huh. I started taking Juice Plus and I was a skeptic. I'm like, please, I eat enough fruits and vegetables. I'm a vegetarian. I don't need any more. Exactly. But then, <laughs> right? And we're like, I don't need any more. And I'm like, uh-uh, this, I don't need it. So I was looking at my girlfriend that was on it and her body started to change. And I'm like, wow, she's looking really good. So I'm like, okay, let me just try it. So I'm a skeptic. So I get five of my friends, right? And I'm like, okay, girls, we're going to try this stuff. We're going to see if it works. And we started. So we started on Juice Plus. And within a month's time, we started seeing changes. Like for my, um, one of my girlfriends, she had a problem with her bowel movement. She couldn't go. She started on Juice Plus and she started to go. And then there was another one of my girlfriends that um, had um, eczema on her face. And within a month time, it started to clear up. And we know that eczema is in the blood, right? Yeah. So we get, it's in your blood. So this is to tell you that nutrition can heal anything. I don't care what anybody says. I don't need an aspirin if I have a headache. And then there's another one that just she couldn't sleep at night. And a lot of times there's a chemical imbalance inside of us that stops us from sleeping. And we know nutrition helps with that. Yeah. That's like ashwagandha root. You know about ashwagandha root, right? Absolutely. Yes. Okay. So, and it helps us, right? So that's, those are the things that all natural things that happen. And then for me now, I'm like, I'm thinking I'm the healthiest person in the world. I think I'm fabulous. Okay. Cause I'm uh -huh. my, my biggest cheerleader. <laughs> we invest our money in so many different things. We invest in our hair, our nails, we invest in our clothes, we invest in cars, but we never think to invest in our health or in our bodies. And mm -hmm. our bodies is something that's going to take us for a lifetime. That car is going to break down. That hair you got to get redone. The clothes is going to get tore up, right? <laughs> but we never think about investing in our bodies. A mm -hmm. pair of shoes that we spend so much money on because mm -hmm. we want our feet to look nice, but yet it's going to sit in the closet because after we wear it for that occasion, that's a wrap. We never wear it again. I mean, I am... I am a victim of that now that I know better. Because when you know better, you do better. Exactly. And I can't keep this to myself. I have to spread it to the world. So I partnered with this company and they also have vegan protein shakes mm -hmm. and you can use them as meal replacements if you decide to put anything in them or you can just use them as a breakfast and a smoothie. You know, okay. like you said, you already make your smoothies in the morning, Absolutely. you know, and you can just add a shake, uh, add a scoop of the protein shake in there, and it has spirulina in there. It has bran, um, bran, bran in there. It has um, many different things that are just plant based. Yeah. And there's and it's vegan. You know how we feel about vegan, right? Exactly. <laughs> yes, yes, we tried. Yes, yes, absolutely. So um, it has that's a plant powder. It comes in chocolate and vanilla, uh -huh. and um, that's something that I right now I have a detox group. And we're running a detox, which you was talking about your turmeric. We're doing a turmeric detox this month too. That's amazing. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll just let you know about the turmeric pickle. It tastes so good. It's amazing. It's a little spicy. And of course, with the turmeric stanginess or tartness, it comes a different, it, it has a, a whole different flavor. So you put it in your food budget. You know, you put it in your food budget. Um, say you're spending, if you're spending... 60 70 dollars in produce every single week yes. then you might you i mean you can just squeeze this into your food budget it's two dollars and fifty cents a day you just can't go wrong now that other gizmo that's my baby right there uh -huh. that's a towel garden let me see if i can show it to you uh -huh. 
Can you see it? Yeah. So you grow your own uh, own vegetables. That's greens. That's what yes. I you can you can grow anything out of the ground on a tower garden. You can grow it in your home. You can grow it in your patio. You can even grow it on your roof if you want to. Mm -hmm. Most people put it put it in their um, patio or in wintertime, they take it down and they put it in the garage or they just bring it indoors. And you can grow anything out of the ground. Okay. That's, that's awesome. Thank you very much for explaining all about the tower gardens and of course, Juice Plus. And any of our viewers who would like to know a little bit more about these natural vitamins, uh, please contact uh, this RT from Juice Plus. You can leave um, your comments in the comment section and then she will make sure she'll answer or I'll get back to you and we'll give you all the information. Yes. And before we end our session and we are almost nearing it, but one quick last question. Yes. If our motivator, I call them because they motivate me more than I motivate them. If any of our motivators want to take one simple uh, lesson from today's uh, session, one change, what is the one quick change they can do right from today that will help them, uh, you know, in the future? So what will be that? What will that be change? brave? The one thing that you can do today uh, that you, if you take nothing at all from what me and Sonali has told you today, just be brave, go to the grocery store and pick up a fruit or a vegetable that you have never tried and try it. Okay. That's it. That's a very quick and very easy answer. I loved it. Yeah. Please make sure you subscribe to Peace, Wellness and Naturals, of course, and Sona Motivates and follow us and keep in touch. Thank you. Thank you very much, T, for joining us today. It Thank was you. Amazing session. And of course, you'll keep coming, right? So because I'm going Absolutely. not to leave you, I'm going to keep calling. <laughs> I enjoyed this. Bye-bye. Bye. Yeah.